Open innovation for me is operate outside of your comfort zone and explore beyond the limits. Agility and out-of-the-box thinking. Open innovation happens when incumbents tap into the startup ecosystem to help accelerate its own digital transformation strategies. Crealo seeks to do this in four ways, building, partnering, investing, or buying startups to jumpstart time to market, reduce risk profile, and acquire talent for our digital transformation plans. Depending on the circumstances, Crealo does it alone or joins forces with other incumbents. For example, we partner with a leading regional consumer goods company to invest in the startup Wally, a POS solution for SMEs with the objective of digitizing the fractured SME market and further improve financial inclusion in Peru. We also join forces with the largest media conglomerate in Peru to build e-commerce marketplace Domingo to accelerate the adoption of online channels for SME businesses. We also strive to keep our ear to the ground and understand the forces that are shaping the fintech space. We hold regular meetings with entrepreneurs and founding teams of several startups, as well as general partners of VC funds and other ecosystem players that are interested in Latin America. We define our investment space in three distinct business verticals, digital consumer banking services, e-commerce, and SME digital services. Each vertical has different ventures in which we hold majority or minority stakes. Each venture has an independent board, a management team who performs central functions such as growth, product, finance, tech, and operations. As a cornerstone of each venture lies a team of founders. They are empowered with autonomy and leeway to operate their ventures. Their profile is diverse, but they all share a common thread willingness to embrace change and uncertainty. Credit Corp has set up a new compensation scheme allowing venture upside to be shared handsomely with founders. Crealo acts as a general partner, supervising the venture progress by sitting in venture boards and some operational committees. Additionally, it has centers of excellence for growth and data where members of Crealo and the ventures come together to share their experiences and key lessons. Finally, Crealo assesses its portfolio continuously, looking for synergies within Credit Corp, our parent company, as well as other players in the ecosystem. Crealo is a regional player and considers LATAM as its natural market, more specifically Peru, Chile, and Colombia, reaching 100 million people. Crealo has defined two set of frameworks, the Venture Maturity Model and the Venture Sustainability Model. The former defines the phases in venture building, as we recognize this is a multi-year undertaking with clear-cut milestones. And the latter guides the progression of each venture towards a sustainable business, as we understand this is a trial and error process. With the venture maturity model, we define attainable goals per phase, ideation, MVP, early growth, scale-up, and monetization. And more importantly, reaching those milestones set the pace of progression for the next phase, wherein a new set of capabilities, investments, and mindsets are called for. With the venture sustainability model, we focus on four categories of KPIs, product market fit, North Star, growth finance, and profitability. Achieving a balance among these KPIs needs close monitoring and a lot of experimentation. There is a lot of value to be gained from weaving together corporates and entrepreneurs. These relationships bring the best of two worlds. While corporates have the resources to fund these businesses, startups and entrepreneurs have the ideas and the motivation to shake things up. However, these relationships can be tense and slow to bring to fruition, despite the fact that I think Latin America has come a long way in recent years as corporations, entrepreneurs, and regulators have joined forces to incentivize open innovation. As expected, big businesses have gained a lot from incumbency and are wary of changing these ways. Discipline and standard process controls, sustain and improve operating paradigms, and lengthy decision-making cycles have made them successful, but also slow to adapt to new technologies and evolving consumer demands. 
All these success factors have no place in the fintech space. They operate with agility, trial and error mindset, and warp decision speed. There are still many hurdles to overcome, from cultural to legacy system, and some may never cease to exist. Despite of it all, I believe there is a lot to look forward to regarding open innovation. And Crealo is very happy to be a catalyst for progress in the space. In Crealo, we're bullish about the accelerated pace of digitization of financial services around SME ecosystems and banking services for consumers. SMEs are Latin America's economic backbone, but they are mostly informal, with outdated manual processes, lack of online channels, and no use of management systems. Crealo offers these small businesses solutions at their physical point of sales, with a simple to understand management system seamlessly integrated with a payment method and e-commerce and social commerce functionalities. This offer is possible through coordinated efforts of our portfolio companies, Wally, Kulki, and Lumingo. We are especially proud of our efforts to help SMEs rebuild their sales through online presence, through Wally e-commerce solution or sell in Lumingo's marketplace or accepting Kulki's online payment gateway. In the next phase, we're working with our microfinance institution to incorporate banking services such as loans, account opening, and more. Opportunities for consumer banking services are plentiful, given the low levels of banking penetration across the region. We recognize two main issues around financial services in LATAM. First, people are underbanked, with a limited access to a checking account or debit card. Second, they do not save for the future. Through Tempo in Chile, Antigua in Colombia and Peru, we want to make financial products available to everyone. In the case of Tempo, users have access to a digital account and can manage all their payments through the app. On the other hand, Tiba allows people to invest their savings in a wide variety of asset classes with a starting investment of as little as $30. Thank you very much for the interest in our company and the opportunity to participate. It has been a great pleasure to join in.